Well, hello everyone. We're back again on the workbench. And here is my Mr. Carlson's lab, uh, my version, that's actually Mr. Carlson's lab version, of the curve tracer. Now, I was having some issues with it. It turns out that the issues are directly related to that. Right there, and it's a power supply. I'm not, I'm cobbled that together anyway. <clears throat> I'm gonna have to go back through that. I had some issues with it before the, on the positive rail dropping out down to about 8 volts when it, um, <clears throat> anything over about 10 milliamp load. Not sure why it's doing that, but it's very annoying. So, I had this thing here I put together, and uh, it, it's steady up to about 70 milliamps on both sides. Uh, same 78 uh, 7815 and 7915 just a little bit different topography than this this same thing over here and as you can see that's a a much larger transformer but this 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 transformer here is more than capable of putting up 200 milli milliwatts or excuse me milliamps this is capable of putting out uh, 1400 milliamps so Anyway, that that the transformer is an issue. It's just I have these. The transformers are kind of married to the power supplies that I have there and the boards. So I, you know, figured out that the problem with this was in fact the power supply rail, the positive rail dying under load. So I, uh, you know, got uh, got it adjusted. Peak. This thing put out 28 volts peak to peak. Anyway, and there's I got a capacitor. You can see there's the signal. Here's a capacitor right there sorry about the handy cam but anyway it's a lot easier to do it this way for night tonight i just uh popped this video on here anyway really happy that i uh, got this going now um you know that's on my uh my tech uh 2246 uh, scope and i'm i'm sure not gonna you know plow this into it's not gonna go into this i i might make a a box to put this in for now so I can use it with some other test probes or just regular test probes and, and uh, hook up some BNC jacks instead of running you know probes like I have it currently but um I um uh, oh those those two scopes are well both way 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 too big to be uh, any good um, I want to find a smaller scope I wanted to put it in something like that but this is the Heath kit uh, vector scope or that right there the bottom one I was going to try and figure out how to put it in that that is a TV monitor Tektronix TV monitor uh, it, it's a CRT and it's got vertical and horizontal amplifiers I just <laughs> it is so complicated inside it's Tektronix so what I'd love to do is find an old RCA like a small version of that one with a 3 inch CRT instead of the 5 inch CRT. That thing weighs 33 pounds or 35 pounds. This box here, this is a, a Heath kit uh, Bell and Howell um, uh, 10 megahertz oscilloscope, but it's, you know, it's 20 inches deep. Um, I have this uh, t Huntron Tracker. This is, this is the perfect size. This thing is just the neatest little, I mean, it does sort of some of what this does I mean this of course is a lot better as far as the <clears throat> purity of the sine wave and everything coming out of it but anyway I need to find I'm going to the swap meet here in a couple months and I'm sure I'll find something there's a couple online that I found but the guy wants like $95 for this you know it's I think it's a 500 kilohertz scope it's an old gosh I can't remember the name is really a neat looking old scope. He wants 95 bucks for the thing and I'm not anyway. I'll wear him down maybe in the next month or two, keep peckering him at him. I, I offered him 60 bucks and he wouldn't wouldn't hear of it. So anyway, I'll uh, keep looking around for a, a, a proper candidate to put this uh, circuit board and power supply in. I'll 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 get this one going. This is a, a much more compact that it'll I may make a dedicated circuit board now that I've figured out KiCad a little better, KiCad, however you want to say it. And uh, anyway, next thing now, now that I got this this working, I'm gonna finish the capacitor checker. 
I've got the circuit board almost done. I'm just I'm just checking it before I uh, etch. I don't. I mean, I have this the CAD work done. I I'm gonna check it and uh, make sure all my pads are right and everything, and print it out, check it, and then uh, I'll etch a etch a board. All right. Well, thanks everybody. Yeah, have a good one. Take care. See you soon.